I think they're very pretty. And I think that we're very lucky in the fact that we've had quite a few really lovely orb spider sightings. In this case, another garden orb, like the one that Seb and I saw on the walk not so long ago. Um, and she's roughly the same size as the one we saw two days ago, but she has made an absolutely massive and really truly perfect web. Oh, she's moved up a little way, just onto the sort of the anchor strands of her web, which is, well, they're not quite as gold as, I just don't want to disturb her web at all. They're not quite as gold as that of a golden orb, but still very, very strong. And whenever a an orb spider feels in any way threatened what they'll do is they'll run up the anchor web and sometimes all the way up into wherever that strand is actually anchored which in this case I think is on this absolutely massive knob thorn tree the perfect place for her to have built a web nice stable secure spot I always find spider webs an absolute work of art and particularly those of orb webs because they're so big that you can actually really see the engineering and the structure and the anchor strands and everything linking together so beautifully to create what is essentially a work of art but a very deadly one. And if we have a look here, this poor, I think it's a grasshopper, it's sort of hard to tell. This poor grasshopper has met its fate in her web, obviously didn't see it coming and has been trapped inside it. And she's gathered it up to the center of her web, as orb web spiders do. And she's busy wrapping it up in a cocoon of her silk to keep it safe and store it for a little bit later when she decides to consume it. And she's lucky, this particular orb web, in that I don't think... Oh no, there's one... There's one dewdrop spider that will be intent on stealing her kill. But other than that... She'll have it all to herself. I don't even see any signs of the males. Now the male orb webs are very tiny, about a tenth of the size of the female. And they have to be very careful about how they go about the whole mating process because if they approach it wrong, if they create too much movement on the web, if they imitate prey in any way, then she might eat them. And she might actually eat them anyway, even if she does mate with them. Now these strands here, Apart from strengthening the web, I don't know if you can see the, the sort of the thick and silk there, Seb. These strands here serve a couple of purposes. One, it's... Shall I leave my hand behind there? Okay, perfect. So these will serve as an anchor, a strengthening sort of strand for the center of the web. But also at the same time, you can see they're a lot more visible than the rest of the web. And that, along with the kill in the center, is a great way of basically drawing attention to her web for something that's a bit larger. So a big bird or an antelope or something like that, because otherwise she'd spend her life rebuilding her web. Because things would just go crashing straight through and not notice it that it was there. <laughs> something occasionally being human beings. So it's a very clever way of basically notifying big animals but not allowing it to be seen by the smaller creatures, the insects that she wants to eat. Now despite her bright, bright colors and scary looking appearance, uh, Keith, you want to know about whether or not there are lots of venomous spiders out here. I actually don't have that many. Um, we've got the, the orb web spiders are not venomous at all. They've got a painful bite, but I mean for a large spider that makes sense but they don't have any venom at all. It's the smaller, more innocent looking spiders that are the ones to worry about. And out here, your three big ones are going to be the button spiders, like the ones in the tent, the brown ones, the sack spiders, and the violin spiders. So the various button spiders and then the sack and the violin. Those are the ones that we really get nervous about out here. And otherwise, the rest are completely harmless. Oh, I think we've seen enough scary-looking arachnids for now. Let's 